Hi, this is Margaret from Margaret's Crafts. I wanted to show you how I put together my um, monthly bill uh, payment center, I guess. Uh, the um, the Rolodex type that I had showed you earlier with the drawer. We're going to start off by making the bottom, the box for the bottom. Okay, first you're going to need your chipboard and some cardstock. Uh, the chipboard that we're starting off with is you need two pieces that are two pieces that are two and a fourth by six and a half, one piece that is two and a fourth by nine and three fourths, and two pieces that are six and a half by nine and three fourths. Then we're going to have some. Um, the um, the cardstock and it is all folded in half uh, it is cut at one and a half inches scored at three fourths inches and then I apply uh, your tape on each side of the fold remember don't get into right at the fold leave a little gap there and we're going to start off with two pieces that are nine inches long nine and three fourths inches long we're going to take our uh, center cardstock that's going to be the back of our, our uh, box and you're going to peel off one side of your uh, tape and center the um, your cardstock right over there and just make sure it's all centered before you press it down. I like to put the, the piece that's on the back that still has the tape on it, put it right up against there like that and then fold the other piece. Once I know it's right into place, fold the other piece down and that gives it a perfect line in there. And we're going to do the same thing with the second piece. Make sure you have your tape going the right direction. And press it down. Then I like to take my bone folder and give it a good pressing down. Next we're going to take our two pieces that are your top and your bottom of your box. You're going to peel off one, of your, one strip at a time. Stand your chipboard right up into that little area. Make sure it's all lined in and it's right in the groove. And then bring your back piece up. Once you get it so that it's right in the place, then you can lay it down and give it a good varnishing in place. You're going to do the same thing with the other side. Stand your chipboard up in the empty space there. Line it up, not on top of it, but right alongside. Bring the back up once you have it in place. Varnish it down. Okay, and you have your pieces that are going to form like this for your box. Your box is going to be open on one side here. Now lay your box open like this and we're going to work on one side. We're going to take our, our uh, side pieces and we're going to put our um, tape on them just like we did the other one. These are longer. These are 8 inches long. We're going to center our piece of chipboard in the middle there so that there's going to be tabs hanging over on both sides. Center it like that. Burnish it down good. Then we're going to take our other piece. Okay, now we're going to, after we put that piece on, now we're going to take the other end off. You're going to take your one piece of your chipboard here, and we're going to stand it up in that section, that blank section you have there that you formed. If it's easier, you can do it like this. I like to do it facing me. So I'm going to have to 
turn it a little bit. I'm going to get it up in there. In that space, push the back up. Don't push it up on the sides here yet. You're not ready for that. Just in the middle. Okay. Now we're going to apply another piece to the top. We're going to do it the same way. Taping it down. And varnishing that up real good there too. Remember, don't get the ends touching yet. We're going to do the other side the same way while it's still loose. Varnish, varnish that one down too. Okay, now we're going to fold in our box. We're going to bring the back up and we're going to if you can see this side over here, we're going to just lock that in to that little section over there. We're going to bring this one into that section there. First remove your tape. Bring this side in and lock it into that little section there, lining it up on the front, getting the back lined in, and pressing this part down. And then what I like to do is I like to put my hand in the inside to give it a good pressing down. We're going to do the same way with this one. This little slit here, we're going to put this part of the box into that slit, lining the two front pieces up. The back piece, once you if you get the top and the the top and the uh, front lined up, the back will fall right into place and then pressing that down. Now you'll see we have our little box with the little tails. And what our tails are going to do is we're just going to take our tails, take your scissors, and right here at this little space here, we're going to cut a small slight V on each side of the folded line. See, that's how much we're cutting away. I don't even know if you can see that, that little teeny bit there. We're going to do that on all four sides. We'll start with the one side at a time, though. And then what you're going to do is, I put my hand inside the box to hold it while I press. You push one side down, and then the other side down on top of that. And that forms a perfect little closed-in corner there. We're going to do the same thing. The one side in, and the other side fold it down. And there we have our perfect little corner. And it's all sealed in. Our corners aren't open. We're going to do the same thing on all on the bottom, the other half too now. Just cut your little V out. Don't cut too much. We want just the slightest V cut out of there. Because we want that bottom to be able to seal up with, without an uh, uh, opening gap. Put your hand back up inside, one down, the other over. And start from right where it meets at and push it down. Okay. I like to give that a good pressing down. Now, for these ones here, we're going to do it the same way. Except we're not crossing these. These are just going to go inside our box. One down and then the other one down. And as you can see, if you did just the slightest cut, you can't see the, um, the chipboard edge. We're going to do that with all four sides. Okay, now we have, a, we have our box formed. Our drawer opening formed. And for these raw edges, we're going to need uh, four pieces of cardstock. Uh, we need the two pieces that are nine and three fourths inches long, and two pieces that are two and a fourth inches long. 
And what we do is we take our little two and a fourth inch pieces that are fit right there. You're going to slightly cut it in. Oh boy, that flipped into my candle. We're going to cut those pieces in. These are all of my strips are cut at two and let's see. All the strips are cut at one and a half inches scored at three fourths of an inch. Take our two pieces off. We're going to center the middle piece, resting over top of those, and just press down. This is just giving us a nice finished edge. Okay? And now we're going to do our long pieces the same way. Okay, we're just going to trim up the ends. We don't want to take any length off. So what I do is I start my scissors right at the back, right at the bottom, and then cut my inward. On this one, I take both pieces off at the same time. I rest it over top of the opening, make sure that the middle is sitting on that middle, and then just push both sides down at the same time. Then I like to go across the bottom, like that, pushing it down so that it, it, it helps on both sides, and then I kind of like push the top down too. And I do that on all four of my sides. And the last piece. down good and tight. Okay, now that we have our box made, our drawer opening made, uh, we're going to take our cardstock. Pick whatever end that you want to be the bottom, and because it's the bottom, nobody's going to see it. So I just cover it with the same cardstock, and I'm using the black cardstock. This is uh, the Recollections ones, and you get your, uh, you can use your ATG on this one, or liquid adhesive, or whatever type of adhesive you want on there. And I like to get it stuck real good, because I'm going to glue my wheels on the bottom of, my uh, things on the bottom. So, these are cut at, uh... I cut these at a fourth of an inch shorter than my original. So these are cut at six and a fourth by nine and a half. And I just center that on my bottom. And then you can turn it over and press on the inside to get it to press down. Okay, and that's just how the bottom looks. Now, I cut the same exact size that I just mentioned earlier for my top. My top okay. is cut the same way. And if you have a, a pattern going a certain way, make sure that you have all of your pieces going the same way that the pattern goes. Okay, and I'm just going to tape this down.
center your paper. I just wanted a small, like, eighth of an inch around my whole box. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to put Before the back on. Before you put on, the bottom on, you need two more pieces of cardstock that is uh, the two and two and a fourth inches. And you're going to trim them the same way. Trim them in because we want to seal these these little open openings right there. So these are two and a fourth inches. And they just go right over that corner, putting lining the corner up first and then putting them down. We're going to do the other side the exact same way. Okay, now we're going to put our back on. And like this, all of our areas, all of our chipboard is all covered. And we're going to put our sides on. Now if you want to distress these any while you're doing them, it's all totally up to you how you want it to be on there. side on and that's your box you have it all decorated the edges are all covered all you have to do now is put your feet on and what I use is one and a half inch um, uh, ball knobs You can paint them beforehand. You can paint them uh, now. I always I just put mine on and then paint them afterwards. So all I use is the uh, Scotch Quick Dry Adhesive, and because I'm going to paint them black, I don't care if any gets on the black because you're not going to be able to tell. And I just center it into the corner. You can wiggle it around a little bit to make for sure. It stays good. And then while I'm letting this dry, I'll start making my drawer. So this will just sit to the side.
Okay, and I'm just going to let that dry, and then I'm going to start working on the drawer. <laughs> 